John Farrow with the Farrow Law Firm. For those of you who don't know me, I help people plan their estates, and I enjoy it. Some people like reading Sports Illustrated, but I like reading over old wills to see how people have planned their estates. Over the years, I've planned many types of estates, and I've had people ask me, well, if this famous person were your client, how would you plan their estate? So recently, I created a video on how I would plan Tom Cruise's estate if he were my client. I'll put a link in the description below so you can see how I would. Today, we're going to have a little fun, and I'm going to plan the estate of a fictional character to show you how creative we can be when planning estates. Today, we're tackling Iron Man, the fictional character from the Marvel comic books. Iron Man's real name is Tony Stark, and he has a number of issues from having a dual identity, owning valuable intellectual property, and having a spouse and children. Here's how an estate plan for Tony Stark might look. Number one. Let's talk about his family. Tony has a wife named Pepper and a daughter named Morgan, who he loves 3,000. Given Tony's high-risk lifestyle, a guardianship provision would ensure that Morgan has a secure upbringing. Pepper would likely be the primary guardian, but if unavailable, Tony would designate a close family friend or ally to be Morgan's guardian. Morgan should be a high priority for Tony's estate planning, and he'd want her to grow up with financial security while remaining shielded from undue attention and potential risks. To do that, he could set up a discretionary trust for Morgan with Pepper and Rhodey, also known as War Machine, as co-trustees, controlling distributions as she matures. This structure ensures Morgan has a steady income with more access as she demonstrates readiness. Number two, Tony would need to consider a business succession plan and who would control Stark Industries. Stark Industries is a global powerhouse with Tony as the face and primary shareholder. Preserving the company's mission, protecting against corporate takeovers, and ensuring continuity would be crucial. He would likely establish a business succession trust to protect Stark Industries from government interference or rival corporations. He might name Pepper as the successor CEO, entrusting her to maintain the company's well, ethical direction, especially in tech and defense. Tony also has a number of amazing technologies at his disposal that he would need to protect. Tony's Iron Man suits, his advanced lab, Jarvis, and other tech assets are powerful and could be misused. A specialized trust would keep these assets out of public hands and under the control of his allies. This trust could manage what I would call his heroic assets with strict instructions. Pepper, Rhodey, and Happy Hogan could serve as trustees with protocols for authorizing access, decommissioning, or transferring tech to trusted Avengers like Spider-Man. Number three, Tony Stark is a bit of a celebrity being a high-profile CEO and the owner of the Iron Man suits, so he has some intellectual property he needs to address. Tony's IP includes patents, royalties from Stark Industries tech, and control over his image and likeness, all valuable assets that should benefit his heirs. An intellectual property trust would manage patents and tech assets with trustees instructed to license only to entities that align with Tony's vision. This structure could safeguard his inventions, prevent misuse, and ensure ethical partnerships. Number four. It's not well known, but Tony Stark was a bit of a philanthropist. His philanthropy included advancing clean energy, STEM education, and mental health initiatives. Continuing these causes would honor his legacy and impact society positively. To do this, he could create a charitable remainder trust or Stark Foundation that could continue supporting these causes managed by Pepper and a board of trusted advisors. This trust could reduce estate taxes and enable the foundation to operate indefinitely, continuing his impact. Number five, like all superheroes and every regular human for that matter, he should consider a power of attorney and advance directive for healthcare. Tony's lifestyle and tech in innovations carry risks, making it critical to name someone he trusts to make decisions if incapacitated. Tony should grant power of attorney to Pepper, giving her control over financial and healthcare decisions if he isn't able to manage them. Number six, finally, video messages. For many celebrities, being in front of the camera is not a foreign concept. Given his foresight, he should likely prepare holographic messages for his loved ones offering advice, farewells, and reflections to provide comfort and guidance. To be fair, this was an easy one after watching all the Marvel movies. In summary, Iron Man's estate plan should combine specialized trust, philanthropy, succession planning, and controls over his inventions and business empire. By establishing trust for personal and what we call heroic assets, philanthropic causes, and successors, Tony's plan would preserve his legacy, protect his family, and ensure that his high-tech innovations are used responsibly for the future. 
All right, that's all we have for today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because we put out new videos almost every day. And make sure you hit the like button because, hey, every like helps. And one more thing, I have a favor. Voting for the best of Cobb is in full swing, and I would appreciate your vote. If you're so inclined to provide a vote for me and the law firm, I'll put the link in the description below, and it's a lot like the Chicago's mayor's race. You can vote early, and you can vote often. I'll put the link there, and thank you.